Hi, I'm Kyle O'Dell with Failure Anthem, and I guess we're going to go through some rig stuff. Um, first, <clears throat> my main guitar, it's a little dirty right now, is a uh, PRS Mark Tremonti. I love Tremonti and uh, been listening to him for years. It's uh, just dead stock, you know, uh, the Tremonti pickups, two volume, two tone, three way toggle, just pretty simple, you know. But it's sick, I love it, super high gain. It's kind of dinged up as you can see because I uh, beat it up every night, but it's an amazing guitar. It's my favorite guitar. Um, these are always all the way up. I don't really, you know, I'm always on 10. I'm, 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 a, I'm an Eddie Van Halen kind of guy. Uh, I'm using the bridge pickup most of the time, but for clean stuff, I'll switch to the middle. I don't really ever use the neck. I'm using both or just the bridge. Um, I'm using Diodarios. I'm using a 12 through 52 set with a wound G-string. I don't like a plain G-string. I, I, I feel like it sounds a little more in tune, as weird as that sounds, with the wound, which I love. It takes a little more work vibrato-wise, but I love those strings, yeah. We play in drop B, yeah. Some of the songs are in C-sharp standard. Paralyzed is in C-sharp standard, but uh, most everything's in drop B. Yeah. Rig wise, I've all I've been with uh, Mesa Boogie for like 10 or 12 years now. So I, I use a triple rectifier. It's my favorite head. Um, it sounds awesome. It's just big, fat, mean sounding. I also have a, a VHT Pitbull CL that I love. It's a little more martially sounding, like a uh, modified high watt or something like that. It's, kind of sick um right now this guy here is a backup but the goal is uh to have a cab on each side of the stage both mic'd and using both of them that is the goal um probably the next tour that we do i'll be i'll be running both of them that way i can have like a a british sounding amp and a more modern american sounding amp to running together I'm a I'm a huge fan of, of Killswitch Engage and, and Metallica and both of those bands when I first started listening to them used Mesa Boogie and and uh, that that was like the thing I wanted like I wanted James Hetfield's tone and I also wanted Joel from Killswitch's tone and uh, yeah the, the the triple rectifier kind of gets me that that sound and uh, the VHT gets me more of like the uh, the Eddie Van Halen uh, or like I don't know, just like the British sounding, like the marshall -y tone, the more mid-rangey stuff. And I think together it's kind of cool sounding. You get both worlds. Okay, uh, I have my wireless. I, I'm like super simplistic guy. I don't like to use a lot of stuff. So I have my Sennheiser wireless and then I have my GCX unit, which is my switcher. And this does all the switching for the channels on my head and my pedals. So if I switch like that's my clean channel, that's my clean mod. And then we have some funny names. This is my high gain, which is called Tone Malone. And then we have my lead channel, which is Boner Donor. Uh, so yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, but yeah, and then like on the back of this, we have all of my pedals and stuff. It's kind of an, it's kind of an octopus, but uh, I have a boost pedal that's on all the time. It's a BB preamp. I have my phaser, a compressor, a noise gate, and another overdrive for when I do solos. And then I have a, a delay pedal down here that's in the loop that I use for uh, soloing and some ambient stuff during the set. Uh, Desert Island pedal for me is my overdrive, my BB preamp. It's, uh, it's on with all of my high gain stuff. It kind of gives me, uh, it tightens up my low end a lot and uh, it just feels better. It, I definitely think it sounds better, but it feels better most importantly. And uh, that's like, it's, it's not driving anything at all. There's no gain on it. It's like run clean, but it does this little mid boost and like uh, low end tightening thing that I love that really uh, makes things pop and like my pinch harmonics and stuff like that. Because that's all I've got going for me is my pinch harmonics. <laughs> okay, this guy is beat up, but uh, this is a, uh, a vintage Marshall cab. It has uh, Celestian greenbacks in it. GT, uh, not GT, G25s, I believe. Um, yeah, sounds sick. It's uh, it's a little more mid present. With I used to use V30s, um, and I still do sometimes. On I'll bring my uh, Mesa Boogie cabs out, but uh, this guy sounds awesome. It's sick. 
and I, I run two mics so I can kind of blend some different sounds and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, super straightforward, as straightforward as possible. Hey guys, it's Ryan from Failure Anthem. I'm gonna do a little rig uh, rundown, for lack of a better term. Um, I guess we'll start with my bass. Just an Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray that is disgusting currently. Um, I can't tell you the last time I washed this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just pretty standard. Uh, four string, I can't get into five string yet. I'm not that great of a player, so I'm not gonna fake it. So yeah, the, the dudes at Ernie Ball uh, hooked me up with this probably two years ago. Um, and I guess a little tour of the bass, just got a, an active humbucking pickup, a little battery case back here. Um, it's got three band EQ and a volume, so we have bass, mid, and treble, and then volume. And I kind of put all the EQs at unity gain. Uh, I might go a little bit above, depending on how dead my strings are, which is usually pretty dead, because uh, I never change them. Um, and I do have Ernie Ball strings on here currently as well. I actually use a five string set and just drop the top string. So I want to say we use a, it's a 135, 105, 85, and 70. So we'll move on to bass cab. Uh, he's an Ampeg 610 bass cab. Um, it's absolutely wrecked and as any good bass cab should be. Um, it's just got six 10 inch speakers in it and a horn. Uh, it has a little knob on the back. Uh, you can adjust the, the frequency of the horn, but I really never touch it because I use this more than anything. It's my, uh, my B7K Ultra Dark Glass. Um, this thing's a monster. I had an Axe FX for a long time that I used for bass and heard one of these in a studio and literally just uh, I lost my mind over it. So I ordered one and never looked back since. It's got a ton of options on it. Um, I pretty much just set and forget like these are my actual settings, which I don't know if that's something I Letting all my secrets out over here for you guys um, but Yeah, I mean literally this drives my entire sound that we use the DI out to go straight to front of house into our ears um, and then I have Just your basic power amp here that helps drive the cab uh, And that's pretty much my stage sound short and sweet Cool, so that's it. Thanks for checking out all our gear. You can head over to failureanthem.com uh, for all of our tour dates, all of our social sites. Uh, we'll be on tour probably all this year, uh, and we're writing a new record this year, so be on lookout for that. And uh, thank you guys again so much.